Before we get going, we have a request. In the chat box, we are pasting links to our social media channels. They'll be up there shortly if they're not already there. I need to stop looking at the chat at the same time. If you don't already follow us, we encourage you to do so. We love to share news and updates as well as global connections and throwbacks to previous programs and events that you may have been a part of. We love for you to use the diverse KC hashtag, just hashtag diverse KC to share at least one story of a time that you've interacted with a Global Ties KC program that greatly impacted and enriched your life. So what will this evening look like? We want to share what we've been up to and what we have coming up here at Global Ties Kansas City, uh, behind the scenes, if you will. As far as format goes, we'll be bouncing back and forth between speakers, as well as sharing some impact videos. I'm Erin Zimmerman, one of the four members of our full-time team, also with me tonight are Sarah Martin and Laura Tenbarge, and some of our interns from the last couple of semesters. Uh, I know Bo was planning on making it. Hi, if you're here. I'm now going to turn it over to our executive director, Courtney Brooks, to kick things off for the evening. Courtney has been at the helm of the organization for the past eight years. Courtney, I can't wait to hear what you and the board plan to share with us tonight. Awesome. Thank you, Erin. And thank you to everyone who has joined us this afternoon. Um, the work of Global Ties KC does not happen in a vacuum, nor does it happen just within the walls of our office, our home offices, as has been the case this year. As a nonprofit, our for-purpose organization, we've been around for 67 years. We've always supported Department of State exchange programs under the objective of promoting mutual understanding between the people of the United States and the people of other nations. Our main program, the International Visitor Leadership Program, brings around 5,000 international visitors handpicked by our embassy staff across the globe to the U.S. on professional exchange programs each year. A number of these IVLP, um, in fact, most of them have gone on to do some pretty amazing things. More than 500 of the program's alumni are current or former heads of state or government, including individuals such as Jacinda Ardern, the Prime Minister in New Zealand. For British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher, who was an IVLP participant in 1967, she sent a note from 10 Downing Street years later that read, the whole tour was immensely valuable. I saw and felt the vitality and generosity of the American way of life, and it has left an indelible impression on my mind. Forevermore shall I be a friend to the United States. Well, we've been a part of these programs for a long time. The Global Ties KC of today is not the same organization as a decade or two ago. We have grown far beyond just the IVLP. In the last 10 years alone, we have hosted 29 youth programs with 400 with 4,383 nights through which our students have lived with host families. That is in addition to dozens of open world community connections, wildlife programs, and other professional programs, many of which have involved host family stays and th the programs that many of you on this call have been a part of over the years. So through our mission, the idea that we bring the world to you, we are constantly on the lookout for new ways to keep you engaged. Last March, Sarah and I were two days away from getting on an airplane with five American students to travel to El Salvador on an outbound youth program when the world shut down. Um, not what we had in mind for 2020 by any stretch of the imagination. However, there are a number of really great things that happened for our organization over the past year. Financially, we've stayed in good shape through continued funding of our major grants, the PPP, and the support of you, our community. And the quieter time without international visitors physically in town has allowed us to focus on some big internal projects, community events, and growing our skill set in virtual programming. Before we get into the details of our past year, I want to take a few minutes to collectively think back on what life was like when we were more comfortable with the idea of breathing the same air or making physical contact with a stranger. The year before we went on lockdown, we relied on you to provide 220 home hospitality meals. 696 professional resources met with our participants in one-on-one -on -one and small group professional meetings. And overall, you, the community, gave 18,188 volunteer hours just through homestays and meetings. Let me repeat that number again, over 18,000 hours that the Kansas City community gave in just one year in supporting the visit of over 400 international leaders through Global Ties KC. 
So with that, let's check out some highlights from when we were in person. Global Ties Kansas City is really one of the hidden gems of the Kansas City area. It really brings together folks from all across the world right here to Kansas City. You know, I got the experience uh, of a lifetime when I got to have folks from Iraq, from Algeria, from Egypt, all over to my house to sit around the kitchen table and have a meal. I mean, you don't get that sort of experience anywhere else. And, you know, this is an opportunity to, uh, to be a link. Global Ties is a link from the rest of the world in Kansas City. I can't believe it's been a year since we've had our first teenager in the house. Oh my goodness, we were so nervous. We'd heard from friends about how difficult it is to live with a teenager. And then, Isaac, you showed up and you were so delightful and so sweet and so sophisticated. You sure made our one and only teenager experience an absolute delight. And we appreciated the perspectives you brought both about Kansas City and the United States and of course your home. So thanks very much. We had fun with you. There are so many unique cultural differences, but underneath all that, we all, you know, are the same people. Happy Friendship Day! the dinner guests, I tell them when I'm driving home, now you can ask any questions you want to and we will answer it and please don't, um, please don't hesitate because we do, we do live a little bit differently but we're all, we're all good friends. <laughs> Last October through Global Ties Kansas City, I was able to mentor a girl from Brazil and it was so much fun. She joined me, she had an initiative that she was starting up in Brazil for education and got to help her work on her project and help her network with people in Kansas City. Uh, being in Kansas City, it has opened my eyes. Uh, not realizing that all this wonderfulness that is Kansas City is actually here. Um, I've been doing a little bit of networking, learning some best practices from the city, so it's going to definitely be taken back with me back home. And I want to say thank you. Thank you that is to hear more about the work you've been doing. Keep it up and we look forward to seeing you again soon. It feels so strange to see people hugging and without masks, doesn't it? My name is PJ Matolka, the current president of the Global Ties Kansas City Board of Directors. 2020 was a year fraught with new, cha new challenges, but there were some clear winners. I'll lift a few off here. Patrick Mahomes, of course, connecting with Sammy Watkins to roast Richard Sherman en route to holding the, Lomb the Lombardi Trophy and galvanizing sports enthusiasts around the globe to become Chiefs fans, right after my own heart. Zoom, a conferencing app that connects people, joined Pokemon Go and TikTok, as the only apps to be installed over 300 million times in a single quarter. 
Parasite broke box office records for international films and went on to win Best Picture. And there's Jay Flynn in the UK, one of my personal favorite stories, whose weekly pub trivia game went viral in March and earned him public service awards from the Prime Minister and the Queen for his, quote, raising the country's spirits, end quote. If you love trivia like me, you can still join him and thousands of others each Thursday and Saturday on his YouTube channel. These all have something in common. I don't just pick them out. At their core, they illustrate the power of connection, a need so deep within all of us that rarely receives the attention it deserves. The pandemic acted as an accelerant in the attack on our connection to meaningful causes, common interests, and people with different perspectives. Even people with similar perspectives, the virus didn't know any better. It sentenced all of us to increased isolation. But we dug deep and committed to finding alternate ways to connect with others. We were determined to take control. The investment we made to adapt, to evaluate, prioritize, and strengthen the connections in our lives was unmatched at any other time in recent history. In doing so, I believe we are here today as better people each of us a better person who understands more about our own needs, the needs of others, and able to empathize with others at a deeper level. Let it be a reminder for all of us to continue feeding our need for connection. Sandra Day O'Connor, the former Supreme Court Justice once said, we don't accomplish anything in this world alone. And whatever happens is the result of the whole tapestry of one's life and all the weavings of individual threads from one to another that create something. Global Ties Kansas City offers opportunities to global community leaders to weave threads with people around Kansas City to share a meal, classroom, or living space and exchange knowledge and competencies and stories. Or as Day O'Connor said, to create something, a, con a connection perhaps that will go on to inspire each individual involved to improve their lives and the lives of those around them. While there hasn't been a lot of face-to-face -face interactions over the past year, I am proud of how our Global Ties KC staff adapted. The team found new ways to keep the organization relevant and the community connected to the world at large. In many ways, we are now more relevant and more needed than ever before. Tonight, there are three main projects we wanna highlight. The Summer 2020 Youth Program, Diverse KC Series, and our Youth Diplomat Program, which started in 2019 and has gone virtual, enabling us to extend more opportunities to high school students in 2021 and beyond. I will turn things over now to Sarah and other members of our team to share more details on these programs. Thank you so much, PJ. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Sarah Martin and I'm the Special Programs Manager at Global Ties KC. And I just want to take a moment and to step back and to say I am just so excited to be with all of you tonight and to see all of you here. Um, just thank you so much for joining us. So for those of who you who don't know, my journey with Global Tides KC actually began in 2012 as a youth host sibling and American participant on a youth exchange program. So since then, I have had the opportunity to spearhead a dozen of these youth programs myself. So seeing these youth programs through that double lens has truly proven to me the long-term impact that connecting high school age peers can have. So in a typical year of Global Ties KC, we host anywhere from two to five short-term physical youth programs. And certainly 2020 did not stop us. One of my personal highlights from 2020 was a virtual youth exchange program between students from Morocco and Kansas City. This Global Ties KC program came about as a follow-on initiative of an international visitor leadership program, endearingly known as IVLP, which came to Kansas City in September 2019. Through a partnership with an IVLP alumnus from the Positive School of Hip Hop in Casablanca, who was in Kansas City in 2019, and Arts Tech KC, who met with our visitor in 2019, we were able to connect 20 student artists who all shared a mutual love for hip hop. Facilitated by Global Ties KC, these talented students spent over 800 hours engaging via Zoom and non-live platforms to share their experiences and culture. And of course, a few fun dance videos as well. You know, I have to say, this was honestly one of the most inspiring and unique programs we've implemented in years. 
And we wanna make sure to share some of this inspiration with you as well, with a video that was actually partially created by the students themselves. So let's play it now. My name is Anaya and I'm from Kansas City, Missouri and I'm a fashion designer. Now let's get straight into this. Yo guys, this is Nyako. Hi everyone. Hi, my name is Sufyan, also known as Big Tasty. Hi everyone, my name is Ryan. Hey, what's up? Um, hi, I'm Felix. I like to dance a little bit, only a little bit. I started dancing because there was a big void in my life. I realized that art is essential in our life, and life without art will have no color. Is it recording? Okay. Hi, my name is Sari. Hi, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hey, everybody. This is Melissa McKenzie coming to you from Kansas City. Hi, my name is Zaire. I joined the dance company of Positive School at uh, 2018 with my mate Nyako when we, we were just a beginner. I want to be an artist, which I already am that, but I want to be like a, a famous artist. I want to be able to create a safe place, space, a safe place for people like me, artists, creatives, much like the Positive School, much like Arts Tech, where we all just feel comfortable enough to be ourselves. My wish is to live with, uh, with peace and without, uh, without hate. I want to be somebody that helps others, which goes great with my personality because I love helping others. I can't see this life without music because music, it's like a, a effect. It's like, it's make people happy. So that's what I want to be in the future. I want to help people to make great music and I want to be a producer and a sound engineer and the biggest rapper in the city. My biggest thing right now is just a healing for for the entire world. I just wish that things would disappear. <laughs> I wish that everybody learned uh, from the quarantine how to appreciate every every single thing in their lives. My favorite part was being able to share my artwork with everybody. Uh, especially people across the world. Secondly, the thing that surprised me the most is that you guys look at hip hop as a complete art form, whether it's drawing, dancing, fashion. You appreciate hip hop for more than what I did. And so that brings me to my third point. Uh, I learned from you all how to appreciate my culture a whole lot more than what I ever did before. And I just want to shout out everyone who participated in this program. This program was honestly a blessing to be a part of. Like, I got to know more about Moroccan culture. I got to learn more about Moroccans. Like, before, I didn't know anything. It's just a beautiful thing to be a part of this program. I want to give a shout out to everyone who submitted videos wholeheartedly. Um, I feel like in today's age, there's a lot of just hatred and disgust towards just people in general. But in this program, it it just gave me a good feeling inside like it just gave me hope that maybe one day that more people will be like like you guys just talking about themselves just just vibing together you know i feel like accepted i felt like people were actually like listening to me like i just felt good about this whole program
hip-hop has always been in my life. It's easy to listen to it just like cutting a kitchen knife. Hip-hop is basically everywhere. I wouldn't imagine what it would be like if it wasn't there. I listen to hip-hop when I'm at home, so don't take it away from me when I'm alone. Yeah. Stark, so folk. تخليش الناس يشوفك ديما مدلول ما تعسرش قال لي بغينك الحفرة غيش الروك غامر وبدل حياتك ما تخليش فلوسي بدلوك هاد الحيات خصني نعيشوها قبل ما تسالي تبع الدريم ديالك والغلط ما تديرش بحالي نسى بنادم جاء في الله وفي الحنان وطمحت واللي بالنسبة لاغي نسى نبلي تالي Seems like everybody got a price I wonder how they sleep at night When the sale comes first and the truth comes second just stop For a minute and smile Where is everybody so serious? Have to so damn mysterious Got your shades in your head Got some of the interest in me And like the extra time of the time I love this book so much I've probably read like 10, about 10 to 15 times Like I don't know Hey everybody, it's Kay Um Especially right now, I think my one wish for the world is just a complete healing. My wish for the world is to live in peace and have a positive energy all over the world and everyone will be happy. Everyone, my wish is uh, to see peace in earth. Look, I don't want to hear anyone die in a war or something like that. Also, I want to that all the people are equal socially and financially. Okay. Understanding one another. Then equality, because after you understand each other, you understand why you need to be, have equality. Uh, hate could still be there, but mm, uh, understanding is always a great start. When you have respect, you can connect. When you talk about what's real, that's how you heal. Can't you feel the vibe? Casablanca to Kansas City, we connect in minds. From one continent to another, we celebrate hip hop. Because in one way or another, hip-hop saved our lives. Shout out to the Stevens Initiative and Global Ties, the positive school and arts tech making world-class connections through artistic reflections. Wow, how cool was that? That gave me goosebumps. Thank you so much. Well, good evening, everyone from a construction site in Florida. So I apologize for any background noise. Um, my name is Cindy and I'm a member of the Global Ties KC board. As already mentioned many times during this event, the one thing I appreciate the most about Global Ties KC is all of the ways we connect Kansas City to the world. More than any other area the organization works in, this is where we see one of the greatest opportunities for growth all the ways we connect you to the world and share stories of our place as a globally connected city. Over the last year, Global Ties KC launched a diverse KC series, highlighting, highlighting different global connections each week, which further expanded the Global Spokes program, where we invite speakers from across the world to talk on topics of interest. The full video archive can be found on our YouTube page. A link is in the chat box, but we also want to share some highlights from the program. Hi, I'm Andrew Ikechuku Adudu, and I'm from Nigeria. I live in Kansas City, and um, I was um, a student at the Block School, uh, at the Block School of Business here in Kansas City, um, I think eight years ago now. So it's wonderful uh, to be sharing about um, Nigeria, my upbringing, and, uh, and, and things about my culture. My name is Jane White. I am from the beautiful island of Trinidad and Tobago. Welcome everybody to this incredible conversation about the power of democracy, voting, and information. I come from Brazil. I live in the southest part of our country in a state called Santa Catarina. And in, in the capital, that is uh, an island, really beautiful. It's Florianopolis. I really advise you to check it out on Google because it's a really good place to spend some holidays. Thank you for having me so much. Um, thank you for all listening to me. I am super pumped to have this conversation with Bashara. Um, I met her about three years ago, very briefly, when I, I was new to Kansas City. So it's nice to have this reunion.
Hello, my name is Maria Elena Provenzal. I'm from Argentina. I was a participant for Women Entrepreneurs in September and October 2019. Hi guys, my name is Thais and I am a journalist from Brazil. I went to KC last year in December uh, in my IVOP and it was a great opportunity. I learned, learned a lot about human rights and solidarity and respect and entrepreneurship and female leadership. And I think all those things that I learned in KC uh, are somehow helping me. Uh, they teach me how to, how to deal with this current situation with coronavirus. With the whole world moving online, 2020 provided a unique opportunity for Global Ties Kansas City to reconnect with alumni, facilitating conversations between individuals across Kansas City and alumni friends around the globe. The year has also been a great opportunity to dive deep into what makes Kansas City so special and all of our international connections right here in the heart of America. Over 2020, we brought you 18 events, as well as introduced the Diverse KC series, which has taken us to a new country each week through email, social media, and international conversations, right from the comfort of your very own home. No matter what happens, rest assured knowing that Global Ties Kansas City is here to bring the world to you. Well, that's uh, a fantastic video. Um, it's really great to see, you know, all the different faces and people from across the world that have been impacted by uh, global ties in our community here in Kansas City. Um, hi, everybody. My name is Cody Wood, and I'm also on the Global Ties KC board. Uh, over the last couple of years, I've been involved with global ties in a couple of ways. Uh, and in fact, the last dinner guests I had in my home before everything shut down were visiting Fulbright scholars from Argentina and the Czech Republic. Uh, and I think back on that and realize how fortunate I was to have at least like some taste, you know, of, of international life before uh, two weeks later, everything was shut down. Uh, one of my favorite Global Ties experiences to date, however, was the opportunity to participate as a speaker for our Youth Diplomat Program. This initiative started in 2019 uh, with a one day retreat and a kickoff of the year long program. Our first class of students uh, actually finished the program last May. And then we moved the end of the program online with Congresswoman Sharice Davids serving as the keynote speaker for their graduation event. Uh, and Courtney actually has some exciting news to share on the next stage of the program. But first, we wanna give you a quick look into what the students have been up to for the last two years. The important thing that Youth Diplomats and Global Ties does is it creates connections between people. It's really important for us humans to be connected because our world or our country has so many different cultures and people from everywhere. Yet, there's a major lack of understanding of these differences. Being connected today to other people is so important because anywhere you go, society is just a melting pot of so many different kinds of people and cultures. I think connecting with people is so important because it generates understanding and respect. Get out of your own comfort zone and learn about what is happening in the world around you and not just in your own community, but globally. If you never connect with others, the only ideas you'll have will be your own, and that may be a little unfortunate. As humans, uh, us being able to connect with one another not only opens us up to different experiences and different cultures, but it allows us to understand where, exactly where one comes from and basically how, how to improve the future for the better. I'm a firm believer that people's experiences are what make them who they are. And without understanding that, you can't expect, understand why they do what they do. Lack of understanding leads to so many problems like stereotyping, racism, or any form of discrimination. So the more connected we are, the more we can embrace our differences and uniqueness. And if we don't stay connected and keep that open-mindedness, then those differences that people have can clash. And when those clash, then we're not being productive, we're just being destructive. These connections are so important because they expand our idea of the world and the people in it. To know and value these people as the individual human beings that they are, wherever they are. Without that connection, we don't have any empathy for each other and we don't really understand what others experience and what we go through as humans and we don't realize that while we may be from a different country we may speak a different language and we may be a different race or gender we have a lot of similarities that we may not understand without that connection and so by connecting with people 
trying to understand them, learning how to respect others, you're able to create a more just society, a more kind society, and just a better world overall. Being connected will, will also help us contribute to our community by keeping an open mind and respecting all religions, cultures, and backgrounds. Being able to experience other cultures and knowing more about things that you just never see besides through activities like youth double mats is really important that we do stay connected. And I think the youth double mats is a great way to do it. I love hearing what our students have to say. And I wanted to give a quick shout out to our 2019 and 2020 youth diplomats that are on the call with us today. Um, a handful of them are here with us now. Um, and as Cody said, we have some news to share this evening about the youth diplomats program, mainly that we are growing it. We will be making a general announcement tomorrow. We, we wanted you to be the first ones to know. This summer, we are planning a virtual two-day symposium on July 14th and 15th for students from across the Midwest. Um, and as this virtual year has really shown us, uh, we, can, we can do things virtually in a way we couldn't before. And as such, this August, we are going to be launching two new cohorts of the program, expanding the Youth Diplomats program from the greater Kansas City area to bring on a Kansas cohort and a Missouri cohort. And we are inviting students from across both states to apply. Students in each group will have their own team building and training activities, and the three groups will come together to hear from our biggest speakers throughout the year. So as for the rest of our programs, we continue to build virtual exchanges as we wait to see when international travel will resume. As of today, all in-person physical programming is on hold until at least June 1st. Your guess is as good as mine as to what the summer and fall may look like. But we are keeping quite busy with virtual exchanges. This afternoon, we just finished three days of programming for a delegation of political leaders from Venezuela. While this particular set of meetings were understandably off the record, we continue to look for ways to get the greater Kansas City community involved in meetings. Once we're in person again, we'll be in need of many, many host families as we look to make up lost time welcoming programs that were originally scheduled for 2021, as well as doing some backfilling and bringing in groups that were supposed to be here over the last year. Until then though, this spring, um, in addition to virtual meetings and virtual home hospitality, we are kicking our citizen exchange circle program into high gear, um, through which you'll have opportunities to host visitors and engage in small group discussions with your peers around specific topics. So if you have something specific that you enjoy talking about, let us know and we'll try to get you hooked up with small groups over the course of this spring. Um, the Durfus KC program is continuing as well as is the Global Spoke series. Next week, um, tune in to hear a comedian from the Dominican Republic, who is one of this year's Young Leader of the America or YLI participants, um, who will be our, our featured speaker as a part, as a part of um, Dominican Republic being our featured diverse KC country for the week. We are also looking ahead to our annual event this May. We're planning it for it to be virtual again. Um, so if you can please pencil into your calendars the evening of May 13th and look for information on that in the coming weeks. So with that, um, I would like to turn the screen back over to Cody to wrap us up for the afternoon. Awesome, thanks Courtney. And uh, thank all of you uh, so much for taking the time to join us today. It's uh, a really great organization and, and uh, you know, it's a fantastic presentation that was put on by the Global Ties team. Uh, really, really, again, uh, can't stress enough how proud I am of the work that the organization has done uh, for the Kansas City community and uh, for citizen diplomacy real large. So we'll have time for questions in a second, but I wanted to put in a pitch uh, for all of you joining us today to expand your support for our programs uh, and more specifically uh, expanding the youth diplomat program that uh, we're, we're so excited to bring to both sides. Of, of the Kansas City border. So uh, with that, we would really, really encourage you uh, to make a donation uh, and, and definitely consider it. There will be a link in the chat that you can go to to do that. It takes like two minutes. Uh, and for proof, I've got my phone right here and I've already filled out the info. So hopefully it doesn't lag, but you know, I'm making my donation now. <laughs> I was not expecting that. You gotta prove you're not a robot.
And uh, there we go. So, you know, get involved. Every little bit helps and uh, really appreciate it. Check for the link in the chat box. Uh, I'll turn it back over to Courtney and we'll open it up for Q&A. We're so happy you're not a robot, Cody. <laughs> not a robot, also not a cat. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you, Cody, and thank you, everyone. Does anyone have any questions about kind of what we've been up to, what what's next, or ways to get involved? Easy. I have a question, I have a question Courtney. Well, um, when do I get my annual report in the mail? Those will be going out in the next two weeks. So we're waiting for delivery from the printer. Um, but the extraordinary Aaron Zimmerman spent the winter working on our next annual mailer um, and annual report. So um, it's a big, big packet of information highlighting kind of everything we've been up to the last year. So if you know that we don't have your address um, and would like to receive a hard copy of that in the mail, please, please do send me your address as we'll be sending those out in the next couple of weeks. So Aaron, I have a question for you. Uh, I know when we talked before this that uh, you know, I, I felt like like one of those videos was too long. And then you told me, well, it's just a bunch of feel goods. And I gotta admit, you were right. Like I was jamming to that hip hop. It was awesome. Um, so it is, it is, it's absolutely 100% true. None of that was scripted, right? Like the no. youth diplomats, everybody, that, that, those were their words. Their words, <laughs> their music, their, every, their dance moves, their everything, none of it was scripted. Yeah, it was one of those things where we were like, it's an eight minute video. It deserves to be an eight minute video. Those kids deserve to have way more than eight minutes. And we have so much additional footage that we're gonna be putting together and putting on YouTube as well. So if you don't follow us on YouTube yet, subscribe to our YouTube for sure. And I'll drop the link back in there again. Awesome. Well, thank you all for being here today. Um, if you know folks that would like to be a part of our programs, please, as always, feel free to connect us as we're working to you know, amplify this message across the community. We are not in this alone and are so, so very grateful for the support of each and every one of you. So thank you.